Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the newest installment of Why Not Win. What is Why Not Win? Why do you care? Why are you watching this video? And uh, why am I talking to a camera? I'm super excited. I'm a little bit nervous to be starting the series, but uh, you know, I have my food here. I have some chicken, some broccoli, and some teriyaki sauce. The series is going to consist of me answering questions that I've been asked since I started YouTube this whole fitness journey and since I invited you guys to follow me on Instagram Twitter Facebook social media the purpose of these videos is not to lift myself up and make myself sound like I'm better than everybody or like I'm arrogant or anything like that <laughs> it's to spark conversation and self-reflection hence the name why not win we could all be winning and I'm not saying I'm winning but Win is my last name, even though it's spelled a little differently, but I just say, I just spell it W-I-N to make it easy for people, and it's kind of catchy, why not win? A little bit cheesy, but I'm gonna roll with it. Hope you guys join me and ask me questions, any questions you want, fitness related or not. Like I said, I'm nervous, but uh, thank you so much for watching ahead of time. So the first question that I wanna answer, and that I've been asked a lot lately, is um, how do you not give up? Um, how do you stay motivated and dedicated to a plan, to a goal, and where do you find your motivation? For me, in my experience, um, it is hard to stay dedicated, and I have struggled. I've been lifting weights for about eight years now. I've always been the skinny kid throughout high school and middle school, and that was my motivation to build a little muscle and uh, get a little bit bigger, just for myself, not to impress anybody, not to be a tough guy. It was all, it was all for me, and it's always been for my self-improvement. There are times when it is hard and you do lose motivation and it is hard to get out of out of bed in the morning and get yourself into the gym and you know sometimes you just you go and you have a crappy workout and I understand that. The most important thing is to identify the resources in your life that motivate you. Identify your resources. It's all around you. We're born into this culture of learned helplessness. We want the quickest results and instant gratification. It's it's hard, I know it's a process and it sounds cheesy, but you have to love the process. For the first four years that I was working out, I had no idea what I was doing. I've failed multiple times, hundreds of times, um, to be where I'm at today. And uh, it's important to set long-term goals as well as short-term goals and to develop a plan on how to get there. So that's what has helped me. Uh, just remember guys, failure is, is okay. It's part of the game, it's part of the process. Remember what Norman Vincent Peale says, or not Norman Vincent Peale, remember what Napoleon Hill says. If you guys have read the book, Think and Grow Rich, remember what he says. After every failure lies great success. Most people, if you think of life, or if you think of your journey, whatever it is, think of your life as a straight line. You're gonna fail, but a lot of people, they quit after failure, as soon as they fail. Maybe they fail five, six, seven, ten times, and then they stop. But what they don't realize is maybe after that tenth time, and you can't be sure, and I, I don't know any statistic to tell you you're gonna fail X amount of times until you reach success, until you reach your goals. But the most important thing and the moral of this story, this question, is to not give up. Develop a plan, how am I gonna get there? Every single day you should have a checklist. And I've mentioned this before, if you're following me on Instagram, um, I do a lot of motivational posts. But what do you not want to do the most? For me, sometimes it's, sometimes it's running. I hate running. I, I hate jogging. So that's the first thing that I'll do in the morning, making sure I don't have anything in my teeth. Okay, so another point that I want to touch base on is what's your why? What's your driving force? A lot of great people, uh, the greatest people in history. They talk about this, they mention this. And if you follow Corey Gregory, CEO of Muscle Farm, if you follow ET, if you listen to his podcasts, which I'm gonna bet that you've probably heard of him before, Elliot Holtz, he's another great YouTuber. He's very philosophical. Why are you in school? Why do you work so hard at your job? There's a why and everybody has one. So I was able to identify my why and my driving force. It made getting up in the mornings, it makes things a lot easier. I have a very stressful schedule, a very busy schedule, but so does the other seven billion people in the world. So uh, you should not be an excuse. And if, if I can achieve my goals and if other people can achieve their goals, there's no reason why you can't. Use the resources around you, read, educate yourself, YouTube, all this social media, use it to your advantage and uh, learn from the greatest people in history. So, the three main points. Identify what motivates you. Set short and long-term goals and make a plan. And then three, identify what your why is. I'd love to hear what motivates you, what your why is, 
and uh, how you've dealt with failure. Leave a comment if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you're not already, make sure you subscribe for more of these videos that will be coming out weekly. And uh, also, check out my Instagram. It's instagram.com slash hui win fit. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Ask yourself, why not win? Because uh, there's so many reasons to be happy and to be living your life the way that you want to live it. So, checking out. I will see you guys later. And, uh, yeah.